What's up guys, it's Unders, and in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to sync up the step sequencer with a live loop that's maybe out of time. Something I've just kind of figured out, very, very quick and easy to do. So for example, um, just noodling about here. So here we've got this live loop and we've got the step sequencer, right? Now, if I switch this little guy off here, hear how the step sequencer falls out of time with the loop. You can hear how the snares are coming a bit late and they're just off place. Switch it back on and it's right bang on time. It's actually really, really easy. To... Okay, so what we need to do, we need to have something on which is kind of a little hidden away feature, which I've shown before how to steal grooves and whatnot. Um, because this loop is not on the grid. I mean, it, it is, but it's a little bit loose. So we need to make this the lead groove for everything else, right? So what we just do, right click on here. If we go into track header components, we need to do groove track, switch that guy on. We'd get these tiny extra little steps over here. And this one's the lead track. It's got a little star next to it. It is the groove track. And simply the step sequencer one just needs the little arrow switching on. Just watch the steps when I switch it on. You can just see them snap. They just do that tiny little movement and you can see that's the looseness and that groove is coming from this loop up here. Super, super useful. So now everything lands bang on because all the loop is is just the, the hi-hat and snare cut from a different live loop that I like the sound of. I just wanted to give a bit of a feel to that track so that's super dry and together. I hope that video was helpful for you. I hope it helps you out in creating some tunes and then getting these step sequences to have more of a live feel. I'll see you guys on the next one.